In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to deploy a software package with LandSweeper. We're going to be pushing an update of FileZilla from 3.35 to 3.37. After we've downloaded our package, we want to put it in our package share installers folder on our LandSweeper server. As you can see, I have FileZilla 3.35, which we are going to be updating. So what I've done is I've deleted the old version and have replaced it with the new version and we'll be updating the land sweeper script for doing the deployment. Then I'm opening up my land sweeper console and I want to go to deployment installer packages. Now I've already pre-set up uh, groups, assets and groups. So you can see here, I have FileZilla updates. So I have this group of machines that I'm going to push the FileZilla update on. And down here, I have update FileZilla. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit this. And it's a fairly simple setup. I've set up the package name as update FileZilla. Package description is update FileZilla. I check for the version. So we have a look here where the file is located, see if it exists. And if there's a particular version we're looking for, we can do that. And then here is where I want to edit the install FileZilla installer. I want to change this pathing. So it is the same as the installer setup that we have, which is the 3371. So right there, just like that, I want it to be a silent install. So I'm going to use the uh, parameter S. And there are a bunch of different parameters that you can use, uh, but for this particular installer, we want to do an S and actually most of the uh, software you'll want to use, you'll want to use the silent installer. That way then users don't have to reboot or anything like that. It'll just update after if a reboot is required. So once that's all done, we go okay. And I've already made sure that uh, the systems that I want to receive this update are already on. And I want it to rescan the asset. And I'm selecting uh, the run mode as select on deployment. And I'll typically use the uh, scanning credentials when I go to do that. Go to deploy now. And uh, once we're all done with that, uh, there's nothing to save. You just deploy now. And we want to select our group. Palazilla updates. We can set up Wake on LAN if that's enabled, but I've already made sure that they're on. The computer's offline. We could tell it to retry. Tell it to retry in three hours if it doesn't install. And we'll hit OK. And yes, I want to deploy this package. Now, once you deploy the package, you won't get any kind of alert or anything saying that it has successfully installed or anything. You will need to check the installer logs. So we can go to our installer logs to see if it's been updated. So we got 1, 6, and 3 gathering information so you see we have a failure on six now I have some sort of issue on PC 6 our PC is unavailable so I need to check and see if there's some sort of communication uh, error or firewall that's blocking the asset and you can see that we did have a successful deployment on PC 1 now with the failures they will try again in three hours 
So if I go to this one here, cat one, if I go with software, we'll see FileZilla client 3771. And the other one was cat 003. And if we go to software, see that we have FileZilla 3.352. So I'll double check that when it runs again. And that is all that is required to deploy a software package with LandSweeper.